To add patch panels, we need to first create the templates. We do that by going to the device menu, assets, patch panel model, and we add. First we'll add panel add. From the device menu, we next go to assets, we add it. First we'll add patch panel add. Now we'll add our second patch panel. It'll just be a repeat of the process except for this time. We'll call it patch panel B and we'll put it halfway down. Excuse me, at the top of the rack. Now that we've added both patch panels, we'll connect the patch panels together. We do this under Tools, Templates and Bulk Operations, Panel Back Connect. Panel A to panel B, port number from 1 to 24, and port number 1 using cable CAT60. Panel A, panel B. We can confirm the first 24 ports on panel A have been connected to the 24 ports on panel B. Now we need to connect the 48 ports of our switch to the 48 port switch itself. We'll do this with bulk import export. Now I've already filled mine out patch panel ports, patch panel ID, switch 01, and gigabit one. So now we'll import this Excel sheet that I've saved as patch panel ports XLS. The manual way to make a connection would be to go view the switch, all devices. There's the switch, switch ports, port 1, and it, add a connection to a patch panel, patch panel A, port 1, front, save, and now you can see we have that connection there. So let's go over to our rack. Let's actually view the rack layout. Let's check out the physical connections. So we'll turn edit mode on. And we'll do gigabit 02 to patch panel 2. 3 to 3. Go ahead and refresh the screen. And the connections we just made with drag and drop are now there.